Now, I think it's pretty fair to say that when we look at one of the divisions under Disney, such as Lucasfilm, it's pretty much just as bad as Marvel when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You got Kevin Feige doing his thing with the Marvel Universe, and you got Kathleen Kennedy wreaking havoc over at Lucasfilm, pushing forward and doubling down with all of her agendas spilling into the upcoming Star Wars films and or TV shows for Disney+. Plus. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Kathleen Kennedy, Daisy Ridley, Charmino Bay Chinoy, and the whole situation revolving all three of them over at Lucasfilm just got worse. Now, we know that the Ray Star Wars film is pretty much going through a lot. Not just because and not just limited to the fan backlash but also due to all the creative differences happening behind the scenes. This is exactly why they delayed the movie from May of 2026 until December, and they're filling in the slot with the Mandalorian and Grogu Star Wars film first. So we know everything related to Daisy Ridley is pretty much in shambles right now. She's trying to save her career. She knows her career or whatever's left of it is at stake and could only make matters worse if things move along the way that they are right now by Charmin Obeyed Chinoy. Now, as we discussed a week ago, after she was fired and removed from five Star Wars projects, which were, by the way, a mixture of movies and TV shows, dwindling Charmin's role down to only one Rey Star Wars film, what's interesting about all this moving onwards has a lot to do with what's been going on over at Lucasfilm between the whole Daisy Ridley and Charmin drama. Now, with actress Daisy Ridley already involved in creative issues with the upcoming Rey Star Wars film, due to the ongoing conflicts with director Charmin Chinoy, one crucial update to the ongoing situation happening behind the scenes at Lucasfilm involve Daisy Ridley and her battle with director Charmin Chinoy. As it turns out, director Charmin was involved with Daisy Ridley in taking a stand and how Daisy took a stand against the director to defend the fans and her role in the Star Wars universe through both the story and the marketing. This comes just after a new addition to the script was demonstrated to Daisy Ridley from both Charmaine and writer Stephen Knight. The most recent addition to the script involves new characters that will deeply represent DEI, from Disney into all acts of the film and the last minute revisions were made to the characters by Charmaine and the instructions that she gave to Stephen Knight. However, what truly created the, the division between Ridley and Charmaine came shortly after Shinoy convinced the Disney heads and Kathleen Kennedy for Daisy Ridley to engage in many of the upcoming interviews with ABC-run programs, such as Good Morning America, The View, and Jimmy Kimmel Live in the future to have Ridley serve as a messenger, so to speak, about DEI as the future format for Star Wars to reach a more global audience. Now, Ridley, much like Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman did, put their foot down and refused to even take part in those Disney-run programs for ABC to talk about the future of Star Wars with Charmaine Chinoy by her side. And this, in turn, is already creating tensions between not just Charmaine and Daisy, but also Kathleen Kennedy and Ridley for the current status of the Ray film. Ridley also refused to do a podcast with Charmaine that Disney was beginning to organize that would promote the roles of women and female creators. Ridley's defense is that this approach not only divides fans further, but that it also puts her career at serious risk for making such comments on these programs and podcasts. Now, Ridley also is very against some of the new storyline additions and revisions that were made to one of the recent drafts of the film that Ridley is refusing to do as she believes it is way too extreme that will create a bigger divide than The Last Jedi by Ryan Johnson. Now, Ridley is reportedly said to be in a state of panic over the Rey Star Wars film and has been instructed by Lucasfilm as part of her contract to put in a good word for the move of for the movie, of course, on multiple occasions for this move. Now, Ridley is already warning Charmaine and Kathleen Kennedy that she wants to be more honest with her interviews when discussing Star Wars and that if no improvements are made, she will be willing to take the fans' side again. This all comes in the wake after Ridley shot down many organized interviews by Disney to group up both Daisy and Charmaine to discuss Star Wars. So guys, let me just say one thing about this before I move on. So Daisy is obviously 
distancing herself from Charmaine like she's the plague. You know, that's pretty much apparent at this point. She knows that Charmaine is pretty much a walking disaster when it comes to any word that comes out of her mouth about Star Wars and George Lucas's legacy. Now look, Daisy Ridley has said some things before in the past against the fans, like how she believed that the whole claim about Rey being a Mary Sue was ridiculous and how she never fully understood what a Mary Sue means, stuff like that, sure. But at the same exact time, I think that we can all agree here that Daisy is one of the more level-headed people over Lucasfilm than Kathleen Kennedy, Charmaine, and among others will ever be. And she is slowly becoming like Gina Carano status, where she is slowly but progressively taking a stand against Lucasfilm and going up against them. And by the way, guys, stay tuned. We have a lot to talk about Gina Carano later on, so... What's interesting about this is the fact that this is why the Ray movie is pretty much in stagnant mode right now. It's in limbo. The production is really not moving smoothly. They have no idea when the release date's even going to be at this point in time. They're hoping at this point for December of 2026. Don't hold your breath for anyone that wants to see this movie arrive, which I believe is a complete minority. Barely anybody have ever even asked for a Rey Skywalker Star Wars film. Nobody wants it. I'm sure that none of you out there really want to see this because of how it's going to be overrun by Kathleen Kennedy's drama and agendas spilling into the production of this actual film. So moving onwards, all right? Now, something Ridley shot down, of course, and refused were all of those interviews that created a grudge between the director and actress. It's also something that is being that is throwing Kathleen Kennedy into full panic mode over as she performs PR damage control behind the scenes that will be presented to the public soon. Kennedy reportedly wants to course correct Ridley's statements that she made when she seemingly took the fan side of the backlash for the Ray Star Wars film by both Charmaine and Steven. Now again, guys, we know that Charmaine is not the writer of this film, but she has great influence over Stephen Knight and himself as a writer. So she's really taking part in the story, how it's going to be crafted, how it's going to be executed, and all the like. And so that's exactly why I say this Ray movie is either never going to happen, and if it does, that's a big if it does, it is going to be, I believe, worse than The Last Jedi. Now look, of course, some of you may be like, well, Mike, you can't judge anything before it comes out. Well, that may be partially true, but look at Disney's track record. It's not good, especially with Star Wars, and it's been an ongoing decline ever since a couple of years ago. So overall, I would like to hear, you know, what you all have to say about this ongoing scenario between Daisy finally taking a stand against Lucasfilm. And I kind of find it quite surprising that this is now pretty much the next phase of drama ever since Gina Carano and her getting fired at Lucasfilm. Now you got Daisy defending her career and her status over at Lucasfilm. So yeah, guys, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.